My name is Mike Sieve. I'm from Rushford, Minnesota. My painting in this show is based on experiences while on a three-week canoe trip to the Zambezi River in Zimbabwe 10 years ago. That trip was a combination of canoeing the river and the nearby marshes and also hiking the forests and hills nearby. We saw and photographed many species of wildlife on that trip, including elephants, hippos, crocodiles, lion, leopard, and more. Many of these animals were seen and photographed at very close range. The bird life along the river was great. Zimbabwe has a very long list of birds and they're concentrated right near the river. One of my favorite birds were the giant carmen bee eaters, living in large colonies dug into the river banks. Another favorite were the little bee eaters. They're the smallest of their tribe. The actual experience that led to the creation of this painting took place as we followed elephants through the Jess. That's the dry, dense, brushy forest. We could follow and approach them quite closely and I was impressed by the contrast of their bright white tusks and the dull colored brush nearby. Lots of birds follow elephants also as they move and feed. They're picking off insects that are disturbed by the elephant's movement. It seemed to me to combine bee eaters and elephants in the same painting and to play with the contrast could be a good idea. I wanted to contrast the brightness of the tusks and the brightness of the birds with the dullness of the elephants and the brush and I wanted to contrast the size of the tiny bee eaters with the immense size of the elephants. I usually put a lot of habitat in my paintings, but not this time. This painting is about color and contrast, not habitat. The placement of the bee eaters was a challenge. There were many changes, additions, subtractions, and movement, but it worked out well in the end. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy this show, and if you ever want a great bird watching trip with an element of adventure and a bit of risk, Go canoe the Great Zambezi River of Zimbabwe. It'll be the trip of a lifetime. Thanks for listening.